Hi everyone, it's Nicole. I know a few of you have had a couple of issues trying to pull up the Pantone library into your Illustrator files and showing your printer what colors you want to use. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing is I am an Illustrator CS6. Um, if you don't have CS6 yet, you do get it for free from SCAD and I can show you how to do that. So just let me know and I can show you how to do that. Or um, this should still work the same way in Illustrator CS4 or CS5. So you should have no issues pulling up your libraries the same way that I'm going to do today. So first thing is I'm just going to create a couple boxes. These two boxes are just any size. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to show you how to pull up the library. First thing you need to do is go into Window. And you're going to go up, down and select the swatches. Tab the swatches will pull up a window right here and then you're gonna click on the top right and in there you're gonna select the one that's a third from the bottom which says open swatch library in there I'm gonna go into other library because all of the ones that are shown are not Pantone colors so we need to pull up Pantone so I'll go into other library this will open up the window of all the settings in Illustrator that includes the presets the configurations any plugins that you have in there but we need to be in the presets folder and there we're going to cl click on NUS which should be the only folder in there then you're going to click on the swatches folder in the swatches folder you're going to create you're going to have a few um, folders including art history and color books color properties the one that you need is color books in color books you're going to see different color books that are available the one that you're going to select is Pantone Solid Coated or Uncoated, depending on what paper you're going to be printing in. So if you're going to be printing in a coated paper, you will be using this Solid Coated Library. If you're going to be printing on an uncoated paper, you will be using Solid Uncoated. For this purpose, I'm just going to do the Solid Coated. So I'm just going to pull it right up. It says the name right on the file, so you'll know which one you're pulling. But in this case, we're going to put Solid Coated again. Okay, so in here, the window show, should appear. I have the show find field open, which is just something that you could edit up here. You go click right on the top right, and you just click on show find field and it should show it. All of the wonderful Pantone colors are, are there. The great thing about this is that with the find field, you could call up the color that you want without having to dig through all of them. So let's say I want 485, which is a red similar to the one that I have. I'm just going to delete that so it pulls up the 45 and here is my red so I just click on here oops so I just click on here as you can see it'll show the little swatch added into my swatches library same thing if I want to go over here and select a blue color I could do 287 it pulls it up there's 287 and it pulls it up over here so once you are done with your file, the only two full, um, swatches that should be over here are the ones that you're using in your business card. So once I am done playing around with all the colors, I selected the right colors, I just go in here and I tell it to select all of the unused swatches. I'm just going to go and tell it to delete swatches. So it deletes all of the ones that I do not have selected. So as you can see, the only colors that are, that are shown here are the ones that are in my file, which in this case would be the ones that are in your business card. Okay, I hope that helps. If you do have any other questions, please send me an email or put a question on the discussion board and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.